Welcome ladies and lords to the Tandem Yeti video where today we will be proving that Doctor Who exists in real life. Yes, that's right. So I remember ages and ages ago, I remember having these uh, videos pop in my recommended claiming that Doctor Who uh, is real in our world. Um, so, I mean, it's it's obviously makes a load of sense. It obviously, Doctor Who is obviously real. Um, maybe uh, the, the, the TARDIS has recorded the Doctor's adventures and then the BBC found the recordings and then that's why it's on TV. Maybe that's an explanation as to how, how Doctor Who can be real. Like, it's weird that in the show Doctor Who, they don't, like, th that the show doesn't exist within that show. Um, because it's, you know, it's, a, it's such a famous show, it's weird that no one's ever heard of it. So I've come to the conclusion it's actually a parallel universe it's not ours where Doctor Who is real. But this, these videos are trying to say that Doctor Who is real in our world. Um, so let's see what argument they have. Let's see what they're trying to say and uh, react to this together. Proof that Doctor Who exists. Let's go full screen on this, uh, this bad boy. My own findings, it's his own findings. He hasn't copied it from anywhere. The crack in the wall. Oh, is he found a crack? Oh, this was my Nan's school trip photo. Notice anything? Oh my goodness! It's the crack. It's the crack in time. Make sure he doesn't end up going through that and it'll be completely forgotten. But, I mean, it's just a, it's just a gap in the, in the picture, surely. Surely there isn't a real crack in time. That is so... The crack! Oh yeah, I noticed it. You don't need to point it out. This photo was from Sunday school trip. Oh, there's more. I found it when I was going through old photos. Wow, the, I mean, that, that is definite proof Doctor Who is real. I've made sure that the crack isn't a tear or mark on the photo. You've made sure of that. It's really in the background. Oh! Okay, now this is, uh, this is different now. I mean, I'm pretty sure it might be a photo of a photo. Um, that is a possibility. Um, I made a photo to compare the crack from the Doctor Who and the crack in my photo. <laughs> Ready? By the way, it's actually shocked me. Oh my god, this has got to be a parody. If you read the description, it seems genuine. It seems like he genuinely believes that Doctor Who is real. Right, okay. Oh, I suppose, I suppose it's different colouring, but the shape of it does technically line up, but it's been, you know, it's been altered, it's been altered. I'm really happy I found this, no one else has this photo. So I'm the only one with this proof. Oh, there's more, Pompeii Peter Capaldi. So I was watching Pompeii's final hours. Or Pompeii. I don't know what I'm saying, Pompeii. And one scene showed a Roman fresco picture. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Peter Capaldi. He's, as a Ro Peter Capaldi was a Roman. Actually, he's just lived so long. He was around in the Roman times. Uh, that's modern art. It's not modern art, it's Roman art. My dad noticed that a person on the picture looked familiar. Yes, it's Peter Capaldi. It's be Piccoli, Piccoli, everybody. Wow, it's, oh, Lobus Cassilius. That's his name. In, in Doctor Who. I put them side by side. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, you could have got a picture that looks even more like that. I mean... <laughs> I mean, that is... I mean, if you want definite proof of... Doctor Who existing. I mean, if Doctor Who existed, like literally last New Year's Day or whatever, there would have been loads of Daleks everywhere. There would have been, and we would know about it. We would, we would have heard about it. I thought it could be proof since the episode was in. It was called Fires of Pompeii. Yeah, I've, I've got that. I picked that up. Okay. <laughs> All about Pompeii. Oh, if the person that made this um, video is watching this reaction, then you know. 
it's a, it's a, it's a well-made video. Uh, um, it's well edited. It's well thought out. Well, no, I mean, it's um, it's clearly a load of rubbish. Um, right. Okay. Let's see what they've said in the description. I have discovered two facts that could help me prove that Doctor Who is real. Both reasons are my own, and I found them online. You can talk about Instagram and stuff, but please give my channel credit in the link. I know other people taking credit, thank you. I do not own the soundtrack, I am the Doctor. What are the comments? Oh, um, gee, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, the cracks uh, I mean... I, I can't believe there isn't anybody saying how ridiculous this all is. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm a party pooper. Maybe I'm a party pooper, I don't know. But there's, there's a whole, there's a load of, of, of rabbit hole. Um, this one, I remember these ones as well. Doctor Who is real. I think this is more substantial proof than Doctor Who is real. I think they could be onto something. Doctor Who, the Doctor could be real. By Mr. Time Lord 96. Let's see. Now this, I remember seeing this artwork at the end of the film Khan Scutzi. Um, where it is. So apparently, let's see what we have here. It looks like, it kind of looks like a TARDIS, right? That could be like a silence or something. Like this is like a really old cave painting, but it really could be anything, couldn't it? TARDIS, yes, yeah, pointing out, I don't know who the people aliens could be. This is, it's just finding something out of nothing. Oh, this is where, this is where it is. I mean, that looks nothing like the TARDIS. If they were going to do, if they were actually going to draw the TARDIS, then they'd make it look like the TARDIS, don't you think? Possibly many spaceships or TARDIS. Load of, there's not that many TARDIS to look like that, I don't think. Actually, now with Chibnall's here, it's now saying, like, Rook's Doctor's TARDIS looks like that. Um, I don't know. An animal, most likely a dog. Oh, it's K9! Is that what they're trying to say? It's K9. The devil? Horned creature. What? How is this? It could, you know, mythology. It's how. How is this? Could be Doctor Who. Uh. Oh, some angels there. Possibly more aliens. It's just showing all the. It's, it's just showing all these cave paintings of weird figures and saying, "Oh, aliens! Could be alien aliens." Well. Wow. These cave paintings created 7,000 years ago stunned experts by appearing to show the Doctor's time-travelling TARDIS. These pictures, dating from 5,000 BC, portray some mysterious figures around an object looking like the TV police box, currently occupied by the new Doctor, Matt Smith, and assistant, Amy Poincaré. Oh, is this fairly, fairly old video? Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Oh, okay, right, okay. What do people... What are people saying about this? Surely this video is revolutionary. Surely this video has proved that the dog is real. What if we're in the parallel universe and we were Time Lords and the Doctor is trying to get us to recover our memories for a TV show? What is that? What is that theory? What a theory. Remember, that's just a theory. A Doctor Who theory. Can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Doctor Who isn't real, they said. It was ne it was and never will be, they said. Um, could it be real? Of course the Doctor is real. Goodness, keep up, will you? I like that comment, that's good. Yeah, so yeah, Doctor Who is real. I'm not say I'm not uh, saying that the Doctor isn't real. And then this one as well, I think this is a good one. Ooh, good music. Proof Doctor Who is real. That's Darth Vader. That's got nothing to do with Doctor Who. Here we go. Here's a TARDIS. 
Why was there a picture of Darth Vader? Why is there a picture of Darth Vader and Minecraft? What is the Doctor's real and Torch made the TV series to cover him up? Yeah, that's a theory. My proof is right here. Ah. Oh. That is literally. Oh, um, is this Craig? Is this Craig? Is this Craig's YouTube channel? And that's what we just saw. Companion spotted. Oh, it's Amy and Rory. Uh, Captain Jack Harkness. I don't know. I can't read, but I can't read what that says. There is a TARDIS hidden in stained glass windows of St. Joseph's Oratory. It's just a bit of blue, isn't it? It's too difficult to see. I mean, that's just the, where they're filming or something. That's just... Scientists discover nearby diamond planet. Well, that, of course, that doesn't mean the who's real. You've, you've shown that one. It's trying to say that he looks like the Eighth Doctor. I think this one is meant to be silly, ridiculous. Um, Silurian? I, I mean, it's not saying where that's from. I don't know what that is. I can't tell what that... Oh, it kind of looks like a police box. Kind of. The Doctor. <laughs> Found this while doing a school project a while back. There was nothing else written on the stone. There's starting to be so many signs. The doctor is real. I'm going crazy. The doctor, he saved others. I mean, that is a weird gravestone. I want to look at uh, Christopher Eccleston. Who? Two beat, two beats. Double hearted man. There's a man with two hearts. That's crazy. Who's this? He doesn't look like anyone, does he? In the, in the red circle. I don't see anyone. I mean, that's just a bit of graphic design. Well, absolutely, the Doctor's real. Confirmed. This person's pointed out you have to be extremely un 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 uneducated to believe it's real. Uh, Oh, they've said, uh, surely you're joking. And they've, they've uh, updated, they were literally 11 when they made this. Um, <laughs> what, why this is hilarious? Why did middle school me take this vid so seriously? Why was I commenting in the first place? Why did you make the vid? How did I even get to it? Extremely uneducated man I thought I was. Oh my goodness. That's funny. So he was 11 when he made, I was thinking all these people must have been kids when they made this. Um, no one, no serious adult would make a, a video with proof that the doctor's real. What culture? What culture? What have you done? What are you trying to say, what culture? All you need to launch a celebrated art career. Achieve studios. A happy career... What culture is saying the Doctor is a legend woven in time, but what if it actually is? I mean, we've just been watching very small account YouTube videos, but this is what culture. They're a big channel, and this is an adult that made this. They edited this, and they're saying that the Doctor is real. The doctor is a Let's see what they have to say. But what if he actually is? I mean, he's obviously not because he's fictional, but what if he is? Doctor Who fans look at the world differently. We approach shop window dummies with caution, and we're terrified if we hear a clock, but don't see one. Stephen Moffat once claimed he took the idea for Weeping Angels from a statue that guarded a graveyard, and when he took his son to show him the origin of this inspiration, the statue had gone. That is a great story. If he actually told that story, that's great, but uh, it, I, I believe that he could just be saying it just for, like a publicity thing. It's a neat little story. I need to look up to see whether he actually said that or not. Um, I don't know, that's a pretty neat story. Like ...that would either fuel our imaginations, or simply creep us out. We've seen the Doctor cropping up in history books and old photographs on the show, but what if he's been cropping up in our world too? I'm Rich from WhatCulture.com, and here are ten... Oh, here's the guy that's talking. ...who really exists. Number ten, 
The Beatles were stalked by a weeping angel. What? Continuing the weeping this is new? I don't think I've seen this one yet. Queen, here's a picture of the Fab Four being Oh! It's a weeping angel! Oh my goodness. It's gonna touch them, it's gonna send them back in time. That is terrifying. It's just do these guys do these guys know that statues exist? Are they aware that statues are a thing? Is this just the same photo shoot? I th yeah, it is. It's just the same photo shoot. It's the same statue, but from a different angle. The only psychopaths in the universe to kill you nicely. What's creepy about this picture, though, is the statue. Come on, let's assume it's not living just for a second. It's actually looking at the Beatles. Does it not remind you of the scene where the angels twist their heads ready to prey on Amy Pond? Whilst the three of them seem unaware of the impending doom behind them, George seems a little more concerned. And it would certainly <laughs> Oh, he's got to be he's got to be joking. I, I mean I don't I don't know, but he's just he's just pulling a face. I swear he always pulls that face in every photo. The band was so ahead of their time <clears throat> if they were actually from the future. And whilst we're at it, here's the doctor hanging out with John, Paul, Ringo and Paul. This one I've seen. I'm pretty sure I've seen a video of this band drumming and literally it's Matt literally a guy who looks like Matt Smith. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just a guy that looks like Matt Smith. I mean, it looks a lot like him, actually, but it's just uh, an uncanny coincidence, I think. Number nine, the Toplophaner invader, slowly. In 2011, a strange metal space ball dropped on Namibia from space. Oh, is it going to say that these things are real and they're attacking us now? Sir and the European Space Agency both investigated what it was and worked out that it was a metal known to man. But what does it look like to you? Rings? Similar spheres... That's weird. ...in Brazil and Australia, and though they're probably boring to breathe, they certainly look like the Toplophane from the sound of drums and laughing in time loops. Did the year that never happened really happen? With these spheres being the leftovers from the master's attack on Earth? Well, no. The spheres are hollow. Sorry. Number eight. The tar Oh, so you just proved yourself wrong there. The TARDIS was left to die just as the Doctor asked. Just as the Doctor asked. Okay, what's this one? Emergency Protocol 1 must have been activated after all. This picture shows a raggedy looking police box becoming part of the scenery, so much so that a fence has been built through it. Are you kidding me? You're trying to say that's the TARDIS? It looks nothing like the TARDIS, it's got silly sticker there, and, and the windows are all different, and it's all packed. I mean, it's just. Do they are aware the police box has existed? One that found its way all over the internet and prompted many Who fans to remember the Ninth Doctor telling Rose Tyler to leave the TARDIS on a street corner and let it die. She disobeyed, of course, and pulled the TARDIS apart with a tow truck to catch a lift. Oh, the things people do for love. Number seven, Vincent painted the TARDIS. No, he didn't really. Did he really do that? Sunset at Mont Major. Let's throw that on it. That is incredible if he did. Discovered Van Gogh painting found in a Norwegian man's attic. Now we all know he painted the Pandorica Oceans in the calendar for show. But take a look at this real painting. What's that in the upper left? Probably just a church, but put your Who goggles on. It's startling, actually, how much that resembles the TARDIS. No, it isn't. It looks nothing like the TARDIS. It's, it's a church, and there's literally extra buildings there. If we zoom out, I want, I want it to zoom out again and look. Take a look at this. Oh, literally, my face cam is in the way. Oh, there we go. It looks nothing like the TARDIS. I'm sorry. Probably just a church, but put your Who goggles on. It's startling, actually, how much that resembles the TARDIS. You can see the windows and almost make out the ball box top. And whilst experts do claim that it is an abbey, Montmajor Abbey to be precise, we know otherwise. Go on. Number six, the crack in time and space is real. Not long ago, NASA found a crack in time and space. It's 11,000 light years away. Whoa, I mean, that's just a cool fact about space. Because all these, like, sci-fi things, they're partly based on what could be real, and I think things like this, like space is just, space is so big, I mean, there's so many different things, so there's bound to be something like that in space. At NASA, it's the core of a thick, sooty cloud, large enough to swallow dozens of solar systems. Sound familiar? I mean, look at it, it actually resembles the crack. And it's not the only crack that's found its way onto the internet. Hundreds of Who fans have kept their eyes peeled for similar cracks, possibly more. Maybe they were just erased from existence then. Number five, we found Gallifrey and Midnight. Last we found the planet Gallifrey and the planet Midnight. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd know if we did. The existence of a planet similar to the Doctor's home world, Gallifrey. The system...
deliberately situated, Kepler 47, or custodian of the serious Kepler's, contains two stars, one of which is about the size of our sun, the other is three times smaller. The inner planet revolves around the big sun every 49 days, but the other planet in the system lies in the habitable zone. Whilst this means it could support life, it is a gas giant. Could the Time Lord survive on a gas planet? But that's not all. Scientists have confirmed that a diamond planet called 55 Cancri E also... Well, it's not called Galafay, is it? Midnight, anyone? It has a rocky crust similar to Earth, twice well, it's not called midnight. the size of the Earth, one year on the planet lasts only 18 hours, and its mantle was thought to be made of diamonds. Since the discovery of the planet, scientists have had to concede that there isn't actually as much diamond there as they thought, as the host star that orbits isn't as carbon-rich as they first suspected. NASA are currently trying to find a pocket universe that Galafay has fit into. Number four, the Doctor has a tomb. The Doctor has a secret he will take to the grave. Oh yeah, the name of the Doctor finale. And it's a bit less impressive than how you'd imagine. But if the Doctor exists, I hear you say, then why doesn't he have a side loop in TARDIS? Bodies are boring, he's had loads of them. Then they'd never be buried in the ground. Well, to that I say, what if it's a false grave? It means that tombstone might be a catacomb spiralling tunnel to the centre of the most dangerous place in the universe. Or just a very shy medical man that no one would remember. Number three, the Ninth Doctor... I mean, it is interesting, those tombstones where they don't put any names on it. It's kind of mysterious, you know, who was this person who just remains known as a doctor? By the Romans. It may have been the Tenth Doctor that was worshipped as a house... Oh, we've got Capaldi in the Romans, and now we've got the Ninth Doctor in the Romans. Oh, this is the one we've seen. Oh, that's so... Uh, it looks nothing like all it does, but it's just a generic face. This one's looking promising. The ninth doctor cropping up in the history books was famously explored in the first episode of the revival. But how cool would it have been if Clive had found this lurking somewhere on the internet? Well, he would have done if he'd used a real search engine like Google, but instead they all used this search dash Y search internet. Number two, a man with two hearts really does exist. The doctor's oh yeah, we saw this one. Particular system is almost as famous as a sonic screwdriver, but he's not the only one with two hearts. An Italian pensioner not only has two, he's had emergency heart surgery on both of them. The unnamed man wasn't actually born with them, but it's only fair to point out, he actually had a rare operation in which a new heart was... Well, of course, if he wasn't born with them, he's not the doctor, is he? He's not a time lord. Old one. However, the two became out of sync, and when the drug therapy didn't work, both of them stopped, and he had to be operated on. It's somewhat a medical miracle, but it still prompted pretty much every internet commentator to mention that it wouldn't have mattered if he died in the theatre, he'd only regenerate. Yeah, tell the family. And number one, the TARDIS was painted in Utah. Seven no, he's not using the same... He's using the same thing. It looks nothing like the TARDIS. And there's an undeniable likeness to the TARDIS. Doctor Who connections in so you think that someone used this for a video and then they had to admit that they were 11 when they made it. And this guy, he's a fully fledged adult and he's edited all of it. And... Dalek and the impossible astronaut only makes this coincidence all the more delicious. And it's wonderful to think that the Doctor might have travelled back that far and left his indelible mark on the human race back then. And even if it's fake, it's a wonderful fan service. Having more of the Doctor's off-screen shenanigans popping up in future series of passing comments and Easter eggs would be, in Everton's words, fantastic. I've always loved the Doctor leaving his, or her, mark on humanity, like in Ben's video I sent early or marrying Elizabeth I. I wonder what fun and frolics their tombs may have led to. And that's our list. So what do you think? Is this hard evidence? There you go, great. There's, there's that video. I mean, it's, I mean, let's see what people are saying. Guys, if parallel universes exist, there's a universe where the Doctor exists, and there is another way he has cracked the secret of non-damaging trans-universal travel god. I hope parallel universes exist. What on earth? These uh, comments are very weird. Yes, Doctor does exist. It is shown on the BBC. Now, does the Doctor exist? Maybe make a video on that. Well, I mean... Okay, well, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Um, There's a video that Film Theory did. Can a Doctor Who Doctor actually exist? This is looking at the science of whether it's possible. Um, but uh, that isn't what I'm thinking. So it's so... Um, it's so weird. All these videos are claiming that 
the Doctor exists. But, you know, I've made a video about it. It's fairly interesting. So thank you for watching my reaction video of Does the Doctor Exist? I hope you enjoyed, because if you didn't, you wasted about 20 minutes of your life. Thank you for watching everybody. Goodbye.